As we head into GDC 17 in early March, I want to provide an update and a preview of what we'll be showing at the Unity booth. Six weeks ago, we introduced the world to Octane and Unity's Lightfield Baking Pipeline. This is something that's going to have a huge impact on improving VR and even video games with holographic experiences and content. But at GDC this year, we want to actually take the focus away from VR and, and talk about something that's an even bigger market, and that is mixed reality and augmented reality. At the GDC Unity booth, we will be showing Project Tango, ODG, and other mixed reality and augmented reality endpoints uh, that are going to be built with demos that we've done in Unity with our Lightfield baking system. We are also going to be showing the very first Lightfield volumetric navigable video piece of content um, that was done right out of Unity. And uh, this is actually going to be released as a uh, augmentation of our stereo cube map rendering pipeline in the final version that ships with Unity later this year. The other important development that we want to share at GDC is how LightStage will fit into our pipeline with Unity and Octane. So ODG has built the R8s with special cameras that are cross-polarized and that go to 120 hertz. And this allows us to actually capture live with the ODG glasses um, enough data for us to process and turn into a LightStage data set, which can be turned into a Unity asset and also be used for live mixed reality applications. And this is the first device that's coming to market that will allow us to leverage LightStage in a consumer device. At GDC, we're also going to be giving an overview of some new features that are rolling out into Orbex Media Player for the Gear VR. Among those will be the capability to publish Orbex content and have Samsung Internet directly launch that. This is part of a uh, culmination of our work with Samsung over the course of a year that allows Samsung Internet shipping with all Samsung devices to leverage Orbex links and content that is posted to the public web. We are also going to be showing uh, tools that are experimental that allow you to build Unity content that can be embedded in an Orbex file and run as a live texture or light source inside of Orbex Media Player. And th the next step from that development is actually to enable Unity objects to be run as AR or mixed reality blocks or content pieces inside of an Orbex Media mixed reality stream or experience. And, uh, and a lot of this work can be done with the tools that we're rolling out in the first weeks following GDC. Thank you for watching. This is Jules Zerbach, CEO of Otoy, signing off.